Hello everyone. I can see there's lots of you here already. I'm just going to get the um, chat box open. Um, if you can hear me and see me, can you please say um, that you can see and hear me? Let me know so I know that I can start the call okay. Hello everyone. Yes, brilliant, brilliant, thank you. I can see, yes, brilliant. So you're all here and you can all see and hear me. So for those of you who don't know me, I am Hannah Martin. I am the founder of Talent at Things Club. And in this webinar, I'm gonna be talking about how you can build a profitable business. So I just wanted to say hello and show you my face, first of all, before I go into the slides. Um, if you have any questions throughout, um, feel free to ask them um, in, the, um, in the chat panel um, and I will get to them at the end and I will answer any of your questions um, about making money in business so I can help you earn more. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to share screen and start the class. So, um, go. Um, Fantastic. So here we go. I'm just going to move this out the way so I can see it. So how do you build a profitable online um, or profitable business, whether it's online or offline? Um, I know this is something that comes up a lot and increasingly over the last few months, it's something we've focused a lot in Kickstart and Membership Club. Um, I realize that actually we start businesses often because we have skills and passions and we're very good at doing the things within our business, whatever our skills are, but there are lots of things that we're not necessarily good at when we run a business. Um, and if we don't get these right, we're not making money. And if we're not making money, that's not a sustainable model. Your business will not pay for you, but also it's not emotionally sustainable. It's quite disheartening to put your all into a business that's not repaying you properly. So I want to share with you today some of the strategies to help you build a profitable business. Um, I'm specifically going to cover 14 areas so that you can check whether you're doing these things or not doing them. And so hopefully I can give you some food for thought. So... First of all, for those of you who don't know me, so I said, my name is Hannah Martin. I started Town Ladies Club five years ago in 2013. Today we have over 82,000 readers every month from all over the world, and we have over 60,000 social media followers. Uh, I'm an award-winning copywriter. I'm a very experienced freelancer and small business expert. I'm a regular in the media, including national TV and radio, newspapers and magazines. But really importantly, in the context of this particular class, I run a, a profitable business. So Talent Savings Club makes money. We work with well-known brands, um, but it, it does earn money. And it took me a long time to get here. So I'm not talking to you from a position of getting it all right and knowing it all from the start. I've made loads of mistakes. So a lot of the stuff I'm going to be talking about in this class are mistakes that we've made and overcome and things that we've helped other businesses do as well. So as I said, it's not enough to start a business. You need to make money. It's the thing that separates a hobby from a business. Okay. So let's go straight into what these 14 things are. So I'm going to ask you whether you have set profitable goals for your business. Goal setting really is the heart of success of what you do. Without goals, you are rudderless. Your business is just kind of floating around. You don't know where to direct your time. And you, don't, you can't measure whether you are successful. Make sure your goals are smart, which is specific measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. And take the time to get them right. A lot of the time in business, it's really tempting to rush things, especially if it's not, you can't see an immediate sale at the end of it. So if you're doing something that's planning for the future, it's very easy to think, I'm just gonna go through this really quickly and get to the stuff I really love to do. But things like goal setting, if you don't get that right in the beginning, it's like a house built without foundations. Your business structure will be shaky. And this is one of the thing, reasons that the, um, the first 
module in Kickstart is just all about goal setting. For the first month, all you're doing is you're setting goals and you're setting systems in your business to work, to work towards. So we get you teaching you how to run systems properly in your business. Because if you haven't got these done, then your business will not grow and it won't make money. Secondly, this is really, really important. Do you have any limiting beliefs? Often, this is the thing that scuppers most businesses. So if you're not ready to make money, if you are not ready to make money, if you don't believe you deserve money, if you don't genuinely believe your business can earn you money, your business will not make you money. These will be limiting beliefs and limiting beliefs affect the whole result in your business because limiting beliefs come from a mindset. A mindset affects your actions and your actions impact your results. So if your, if your mindset is limited, if you have issues around money, uh, you will take the wrong kind of actions. And if you take the wrong kind of actions, you get the wrong kind of results. You'll also do something I see happening a lot, which is self-sabotage. So I see people without realising it, making decisions or taking actions that prevents their business from making money. Okay, so it's really important to explore these, if possible, early on in your business, because you will be setting your business up around the beliefs. Because for, don't forget, beliefs lead to actions which lead to results. So the actions you're taking on your business right now are connected to the beliefs you have around yourself and around your business. So one of the things you really need to do, and I've got an offer at the end, a new product we've created to help you with this, about replacing limiting beliefs with a healthier money mindset. So keep an eye out to the end for this really exciting thing that we've been creating this week for you. Um, I can't wait to share that. Do you have a roadmap? If you've been reading um, articles on TLC lately, you know we've been talking a lot about a roadmap. Now, this is something that... Um, I think it's really important for businesses. We ourselves have experienced this, and it's one of the reasons that we invest in coaching. Because if you don't have a process to follow in your business, it's really easy to do two things. One of those is to miss out on important steps. And the other thing is to get stuck in a cul-de-sac. Basically, what I mean at that is, You've got the task you need to do to build your business, but sometimes they're tricky. Sometimes we've got to tackle things we don't enjoy or might really stretch our skills. And it's really easy to get distracted then to procrastinate on something that doesn't actually take our business forward, but is a good distraction. So that might be um, going on social media and playing around on that. It might be doing something that you should be doing further ahead in your business, but you're not ready to do now. The point of a business cul-de-sac is it's something that takes you off your road but doesn't go anywhere, okay? And if you don't have a road back, it's, you know, it's easy to follow into them, thinking that you are still making progress because you don't often recognise that it is a cul-de-sac until you reach the end of it and realise you've got to turn around and go back on the road again. If you have a roadmap to follow, you will recognise when it's a cul-de-sac because you know the process that you need to be following. Um, I'm going to share with you in a bit, I'm going to show you the, the, the roadmap that we ourselves use in Kickstart. But um, to get an idea of where you can get a roadmap, so you can get it through business coaching. So we pay for one-to-one -one business coaching. It costs a lot of money. It's the best investment we've made in our business. So everything in our business, the, the, the huge growth and profit we've seen over the last few months comes from business coaching. If you can't afford to one to one business coach, invest in a business course like Kickstart, which I'll tell you more about later on. That also takes you through that process. And the final thing is if you really can't afford either of those and you can't access them, then try to find a good book that takes you through that process. Have you done the boring stuff? So there are some things in business that you just can't escape the fact that it's boring, okay? Things like, have you got the right business structure? Have you, are you thought about tax? Have you got a business account? What are your legal requirements? Have you got insurance if you need it? As dull as these things are, you need to get them done because these are the things that will trip you up later on. So when you come to do um, your tax at the end of the year, if you've not got the right business structure from the outset, you'll pay too much tax. If you haven't got a business account, you'll waste money 
unpicking your personal payments or your business payments. And you also want to get that really important overview of your business, that bird's eye view of whether your business is actually making money, whether it's losing money. Okay, if you don't have the right legal requirements, you could end up being sued or losing money. So although there are things in business that are boring, make sure you put time in your diary aside to get them done. Because if you don't, they're a bit like that analogy of the, the nail that lost the wall, the nail that didn't go into the horseshoe and the hoof of the, the horse, which then disabled the horse, which then took his rider out of the battle, which then lost them the war. That's the boring stuff. You need to make sure that all the nails are in all your shoes so your horses can go out into battle. Have you done your research? So this is something that a lot of people skip or they don't really know how to do properly. So if you're starting your business, you need to have researched your market. You need to know what your marketplace looks like. You need to understand where the gap is for your offering. Who's your competition? How much is everyone charging? All your sales decisions, all your marketing decisions, all your branding decisions will all be based on research, as will your product pyramid and your product development. If you don't understand where you sit in the market, you cannot price yourself, you cannot market yourself properly. So really do make sure, if you haven't done this, go back and do it. Know who your market is, know who your customers are, because these are the things, this is the knowledge that will underpin every single other thing you do. So I talked earlier on about, um, about the foundations of your house and I really do think as an analogy for building a business building a house is really similar and there are certain things that if you don't have that your, your business will your business will fall down if you don't have bricks some kind of hard kind of structure in your house it's not going to stay upright so these are part of the important fabric of your business so make sure you do your research so I just mentioned product pyramids. Now this is something that we've been focusing on a lot recently with our Kickstart members. So basically a product pyramid is offerings. Now these can be services or physical products that guide your customers on a relationship journey. And when I say relationship journey, when people buy from you, they go through a relationship. So it's highly unlikely that someone out of the blue hears that you exist and within half an hour are handing over their credit card details for your most expensive product or service. Actually, what normally happens is they hear about you once, they hear about you twice. The third time they hear about you, they might check you out. They that then sign up for your email, they might get emails from you. Then someone else recommends you. Then they have a pain point, like I have a problem that you can help and they start to look at you and then evaluate you in relation to the, the competition or what other options are available to them. The next point, they might want to trial you, they might want to see what it's like working with you, what it's like buying from you in a small way so that it doesn't have much commitment. The next thing they're going to do is think, well, actually, I quite like this person, this company, so I'm going to, to pay for them properly or I'm going to invest in them properly. And then they become a loyal customer who buy from you again, they have repeat purchases, they buy more from you, or they recommend it to other people. It's no different in many ways to a romantic relationship from perhaps you've seen someone on an internet dating site or, or someone has told you about someone or you've seen them at work. And then you go on that first date with them and then you gradually get to know them. You might meet your soulmate on an internet dating site or on Tinder. But if the first time that you meet them for coffee or dinner, they ask you to marry them, you'd run a mile because you're not ready for that. You don't know really whether they're the right person for you yet. You haven't tested them out. They haven't proven to you consistency or worth or actually that you really get on that well. So if you, if you propose too much to someone too early on, not only are they not going to commit to you, but you might scare them off. Actually, in a relationship, you go for coffee, you go for dinner, you go for another dinner. Maybe you start seeing each other seriously. Beyond that, you might move in with each other or spend every weekend together. You might get engaged and you get married and have children. You have that journey, okay? And a, and a business relationship is exactly the same. So don't try to take someone from first date to marriage because you will lose them. You take them on a journey. And when we talk about product pyramid, it is building your products up. So the bottom of that pyramid are your bulk products where most people will come in on a bottom level and want fairly free, low commitment, low cost products. And as they, they become more committed to you in that relationship, they'll invest more in you. And so you'll have less people going through that normally until the very top where you've got your top people.
So a product pyramid is basically something that takes them through that process, okay? And what it also does is it enables you to avoid the time for money trap that so many people fall into. So make sure if you haven't got one already, you think about product pyramid. And I'm gonna share something later on that can help you work that out. So pricing, I've just written a whole module on this for a profit kit. Are you charging the right price? Most people aren't. So when I started seeing my business coach, um, one of the things that she said is her specialism is pricing. And in all the years that she's been seeing clients, only two people have not been undercharging. So the chances are, if you're watching this webinar, you are undercharging right now. So what I want you to do is research pricing if you haven't already. Look at what your capacity are charging. Think about where you are on the value quality spectrum. Are you a Poundland or are you a Harrods? Can you afford to produce your products at the price you're charging? And this is another really important thing. It's not to be your competitive. I see so many people that haven't done their sums that go, oh, I'm making something. Um, oh, what am I going to charge? Oh, I see so-and-so is charging $9.99 for that. I'll charge the same. Or worse, I'll charge $6.99 because if I'm charging less, I'm bound to get more customers doesn't work like that. Charging less is not a foolproof way to get more, more customers at all. And often what you're doing when you charge in that way is you don't even know how much it costs you to build your products or to create your products or services or to deliver them. There's a really, really thorough process you need to go into to understand exactly how much you should be charging. And you'd be really surprised at the things people aren't factoring in here. So you make sure you know completely how much it costs to deliver a product or a service and make sure you're not charging too little and actually putting off customers. So we talked about research earlier on. Do you know who your ideal customer is? Have you identified them? Do you know what problem you solve for them? Do you have avatars for them? Really important. How do you appeal to them? How do you get them to know that you exist, you're the right person for them or the right product for them? And how have you identified or can you identify your most profitable customers? Because not all customers will be equal. Remember that product pyramid? Some of your customers will be customers. Some people will buy from you, but they'll only ever stay in the bottom levels of your pyramid. Who are the people that will go straight to the top? Who are the people that will, will buy from you again and again and again? How do you know who these people are? Where can you find them? This is all really important stuff that you haven't done already. Recommend that you start doing. Branding. Do you have a brand? Everyone has a brand. Every single person, whether you're in business or not, you've got a brand, every business has got a brand. Basically, a brand is how people see you and how they talk about you. So what if someone was to describe you as a person in three words, what would they be? That's your brand. And just as we have brands, your business does as well. Whether you decide to design a logo or not, you've got a brand. If you don't consider your brand, if you don't plan it, you risk people guessing it and making judgments about you that you maybe don't want. It's as much better to properly plan your brand because when you plan your brand you can make sure that you're appealing to the right target audience okay so you've got a logo a tone of voice brand guidelines that you know you are talking to the people that will spend the money with you so if you're if you're a harrods and you're charging a lot of money because you've got really great quality products but your branding is pound land you're talking to the wrong people okay this is why you need to plan your branding really carefully if you're Harrods, you need to have a Harrods brand. If you're Poundland, you need to have a Poundland brand. You need to appeal to the right people, okay? When you've got a brand, you need to use it consistently. Every single thing you do needs to be on brand. This is one of the reasons why Talent Ladies Club became so successful so quickly. Because I and Carrie, who I started Talent Ladies Club with, came from an advertising and branding background. So we knew the importance of having a brand. And we actually had a brand before we even had a website. We did our brand really early on. We had a logo, we had brand colours, we had a brand tone of voice, we had brand guidelines. We knew how our brand looked, sounded, felt, and felt like. 
And we made sure that every single interaction that someone had with our brand was appropriate to our brand. And because of that, people remembered us, they recognized us, they trusted us. And they knew, the right people knew that we were the brand for them. And we also, really importantly, were able to put off the wrong people. Because as much as you want to attract the right people to your business, you don't want to attract the wrong ones because you, you don't want to spend time talking to people and marketing to people who aren't your ideal customers that will never really spend the money that they, they, you want to in your business, won't get benefit from your products and won't progress up your product lap pyramid, okay? So you make sure that you have a brand. Do you have a marketing plan? I'm sure everyone here has probably heard of marketing plans. I don't know how many of you have them, but think about how you're gonna make people aware of your business. What media you're going to use, what your USP is, what makes you stand out? Why should someone come to you and not a competitor? What messaging are you going to use? And what budget, really importantly, and not just financial budget, but what time budget? Because time is money and we often, most of us are working with very constricted hours. So just as you need to set a marketing budget in terms of money, you need to budget your time and work out where your time is being spent on your marketing to deliver the results that you need. How will customers buy from you? It's all well and good getting your pricing right, getting your branding right, getting your marketing right. If people can't buy from you, they physically can't give you their money. So think about where and when people will buy from you. Think about off and online. Yeah. Have you made it easy for them to buy from you? And are you in the right place at the right time? There will come a time, so someone might need your product. Think about an umbrella, for example, okay? We all need umbrellas, but on a rainy day, when we left home, we haven't got an umbrella, that's when we're gonna buy one. We're not gonna buy an umbrella mid-summer when the forecast is sunny for the next month. We've got them a heat wave on and it's not gonna rain. No one's buying umbrellas then, but on a rainy day, everyone's buying umbrellas. So are you making sure that people can buy from you when they need you? Are you selling umbrellas on a rainy day? That's what you've gotta make sure. And also, really importantly, does everything work? If you've got an online sales system, test it. Make sure that if someone tries to buy from you, you're not losing people because your sales process is clunky or broken. Number 12, and I'm sure lots of you are nodding, uh, sorry, not nodding your head, shaking your head right now. Are you comfortable selling? Every business needs to sell. If you're not bringing money in, then you're not making money. In. And if you need to bring money in, you need to sell. So you need to get comfortable with selling. If you're embarrassed or reluctant, it will absolutely come across. Instead, you've got to be comfortable and confident selling your products, confident in your pricing, and confident that you actually solve a problem for people. When you flip the psychology of selling round from a position of reluctance and embarrassment to confidence, it has a massive impact on the amount that you earn, okay? And again, I'm going to talk a bit more about a product kit, that, a profit kit that we've just released that helps you with this because I've realized that the, the thing that holds most of back from earning money in business is this, is this thing. They can get everything else right, but if they are uncomfortable about selling, they will fall at that last hurdle and they will not make money. So you really need to find a way to get comfortable with selling. Are you on social media? I'm sure probably most of you, if not all of you are, but are you on the right channel? Are you on the channels where your customers are? If you're on too many, if you think, oh my gosh, I've got to have Twitter, I've got to have a Facebook page. Oh my God, now I've got to have a Facebook group because of the algorithm change. And Instagram, everyone's on Instagram. Oh, Snapchat, someone mentioned that. Before you know it, you've got seven social media channels that you're trying to juggle in an hour a day that you've got for social media and you're doing very little on all of them. So make sure that you identified the right social media channels for your audience um, and you use them properly, which means that S word again, you need a strategy. Make sure you've got a social strategy. You're not ad hoc going on there, that you actually know why you're on there and what you need to do to get the results that you need. And our final point is, are you managing your money properly? Are you doing your books regularly? This is really important. Are you putting money aside from tax? Do you know what your expenses are? Are you paying yourself? That's really important. 
do you want to know where you want to be in a year's time? Because if you don't do that, you can't manage your money appropriately. If, you've, if you're bringing money into your business, don't let it fit, fall through your fingers or slip through your fingers, okay? Keep your, keep your fingers tight. Keep your money bucket um, plugged from any holes. Make sure that you are managing the money so it stays in your business. And really importantly, if it goes anywhere, it goes into your pocket. So I would really love to help you with all 14 questions and help you build a genuinely profitable business because I know what it's like to, to run a business that doesn't make you money. I've been there. I've learned the expensive lessons. I've had the heartache. I've had the frustrations. And I'm, gu I'm guessing that most of you are on this webinar because you too would love to earn some or more money from what you're earning from the business. So on that note, I'd really like you to invite you to join Kickstart. So we opened Kickstart, the doors to Kickstart, um, back in September uh, last year. And we had phenomenal success with the women who are on it already. They've really made brilliant progress, and not just on their business, but on themselves, on them, them psychologically as well. Um, and I'd like you to, um, to experience that as well. So what is Kickstart? Kickstart is a complete 12 month program that teaches you how to build a profitable business from the ground up. And this is really important. This word profit is so important, okay? We don't just run through the process of building a business. Every single module is focused on profit, actually earning money off from what you do so that nothing is wasted. We guide you through over that year a unique comprehensive business roadmap that ensures you don't miss a single step in building a business that actually earns you money, that stops you getting frustrated, that stops you working for free, that stops you guessing and wondering what's the, what's the magic thing that I can change, what's the magic funnel I can buy, we see often this one letter was one email changed my business, we search around for those things thinking there's one key that's going to lock the door to money, there isn't one key, I can tell you now, having been there and tried it, there isn't. It's a key to every single door in your business. That's what you need to do. You need to open up all the doors in your business and get money running properly through your business. And that is exactly what Kickstart does. So here's what you get when you join. You get 12 modules with video classes, lessons, exercises, presentations, workbooks, cheat, seat, cheat sheets, everything, loads of stuff. Um, you get fortnightly live classes, and these are brilliant. So every fortnight, I'm live, um, and I talk through stuff. So people ask questions um, in the meantime, in the group, or they email them to me, and we go through them in the class. We talk about the things you're struggling with. We talk about specific things that you've got. So one member had to pitch for something, and she was unsure how to, how to kind of do a business pitch, and we talked her through that. You get one-to-one -one specific help on yourself and your business, and you get to meet your fellow students and, that's, and that, that's one of the lovely things. Like I see the Kickstarters in the group now. They're friends with each other. They talk to them. They support each other. They know their business inside out. And, and they all cheerlead. Um, and it's brilliant. It's a really lovely group. Um, you get Fortnite accountability emails to keep you making progress throughout the year. You get, as I mentioned, an unbelievably friendly and supportive Facebook group where you can show your progress and celebrate your achievements. And because I know we're all really time poor, all classes and modules are completely online, so you can complete them in your own time. Um, some of our Kickstarters are working full time, and they do Kickstart around their business, their, their, their full time work. So we've got teachers on there, we've got freelancers, consultants on there, we've got all kinds of different people on there, and they are building businesses either full time or they're building them part time around their jobs. So in its design to be done, we've got people from all over the world doing it, but not just UK. So wherever you are, you can do this course. So here's what you'll achieve. Over 12 months, you will confidently build a profitable business that is perfectly matched your skills and interests. And I want to just say, Kickstart is for people who are at the very beginning of their journey. It's also for people who have tried to start a business but are floundering. So you might be in a position now where you've started your business, but you've missed off really key steps. You don't feel that you've really got it right yet and you're not making money. And you might be feeling really frustrated with that. So Kickstart is also for you. There are some Kickstarters who, whose business 
businesses are up and running, but they are going back and they are redoing the steps that they've missed. And they're finding it enormously powerful and helpful to get their business on the right track, so off the wrong track and on the right track. You'll discover how to escape the time for money trap. So lots of people have been learning this in the last couple of months, that too many businesses and people fall into. So what you're doing is you're basically, you are your business and it's only you. So someone pays you for your time and all you can ever do is that. You can never scale up. What we do is we flip that round. We show you to get to the point where you are the top of your product pyramid. You are selling stuff lower down that makes money, that gives people that interaction with your business and takes them through that journey. But you at the top, you are your prime product. So when you are working one-on-one, -on -one, you can massively increase your prices. So you don't fall into that time for money trap and instead you build a sustainable income stream. You'll also learn invaluable psychological and mindset tools that will transform how you see yourself and how you live your life. This has been an absolute revelation for the people who've been through it. They would no idea how many hang-ups they had they didn't know about. Or about how much that they, their mindset had affected the way they were running their business or trying to run their business. So we take you through so many brilliant workbooks that we've had created by some of the top coaches and mentors out there. And they create them just for kickstart. So we take you through them. We unpick your psychological hang-ups. We encourage you and we push you to make changes. And we cheerlead you on the way. We are there to make sure you are earning money and, 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 and are enjoying what you do. Um, we really are a support network for you. And you'll free yourself from relying on someone else paying you to work for them. And instead, you're choosing when and where you want to work. It's that dream we all want, isn't it? That we set, like I have now, I'm here in the Kickstart office that I rent in town. I've, I've given up working from home. I've got an office at home, but I choose to work outside the home. It's five minutes walk from my house. The beach is literally across the sea. If I go out my, my business door, I look across the road to the sea. I'm in the town centre. I drop my kids at school and I come into the office to work. I leave my office at 3.20, I pick my kids up from school and I stop working then. I can do this because I have worked really hard and learned a lot of the lessons I'm teaching on Kickstart to build a profitable, sustainable business that pays my bills and allows me to decide how and when I work. This is exactly what I teach you to do in Kickstart. I want you to have the same kind of life that I choose. You might choose slightly different things, but what I want you to have the same choices so that you can choose to work when and where you want. And to afford to do it, I can afford to rent an office, a beautiful period building office in my town centre. Okay? I want you to have the same choices. And that's exactly what Kickstart will help you do. So I talked about a roadmap. This is a kickstart one. This is the structure that Kickstart is built around. As you can see, there were 12 modules. We take you through month by month. Um, and each one focuses on a different area. And they are really carefully structured. So you go through them all in the right process and you don't miss any of them out. So I talked about the progress we're making and I just wanted to share, I've anonymized this just because she's talking about her business. I didn't want to put her, her name and Facebook photo on there. This is one of our Kickstarters that she shared in a private group. So we've been talking about pricing and selling and a lot of our, our Kickstarters had been under, massively underpricing themselves, undervaluing. Um, so we were talking about charging more, but charging more with confidence about how you go and talk about earning more money and present yourself. Because if you don't present yourself confidently, people won't believe you and they won't buy you. Um, so this is what she said. I just wanted to share something. While I have had confidence in, in my technical knowledge and expertise and approach to clients, I've struggled when it comes to selling myself. I've already noticed how Kickstart has helped me get tougher on pricing, and I have just politely and robustly pushed back on a new client who was trying to alter my business terms in their favor. A few weeks ago, I probably rolled over and felt lucky to have them at any cost. Now I'm able to stand my ground and hope that they will respect me more for doing so. It feels good. That's the kind of thing, the kind of progress that you will make in Kickstart. You will learn to see your business and yourself differently and you will earn more money as a result. So there are loads and loads of wonderful testimonials I can share with you. They are on the Kickstart sales page. Do go and read them because it gives you an idea of how people find the course um, and whether it's right for you because I only want you to do this course if it's genuinely going to help you because 
we've had amazing progress from everyone on there and everyone has loved it and I want to really continue that and make sure that I attract people to this course that will absolutely benefit them because I feel good about that too so the, here's one of the things that they've said it's worth every penny it's amazing value for money Hannah is the person I want by my side I am in that course I'm all over it like a rash I am there with you in the Facebook group I'm there with you on the on the fortnightly classes I am there at the end of email people email me if they've got a question I am there for you and it's the right balance practical help makes brilliant tools to help with mindset confidence and visualization I mean it really is half of being successful in business is knowing the right the right techniques strategy having that practical tools and half of its mindset kickstart covers it all so where do you want to be in a year so 12 months time, do you still want to be swapping time for money? Do you still want to be starting about talking about starting your own business? Or do you still want to be struggling to earn money from your business and wondering what is that magic thing? What's that key I can turn? I can buy that one funnel I can get, that one email system I can get that's going to work and change everything. Do you still want to be dreaming of quitting your nine to five? Or do you want to be confidently and happily running your own profitable business on your terms, just like me? So if you are interested, and I will put the link into the chat in a minute when I do questions, but turnsladiesacademy.com, if you click on there, and if you go courses kickstart, you can see what kickstart is about. You can learn more about the course. You can read testimonials from our kickstart members. And if you scroll down um, to the bottom, you can see the full um, uh, curriculum, everything you get in it really is it's the most comprehensive course that I have seen on starting a business. Um, and I absolutely love running it and I'd really love to have you on there. Um, so we've got something else to share with you as well. I've got really special things. I've talked about the profit kit. Um, I wanted something for those of you that, that, that maybe weren't ready to start Kickstart or just needed help with profit. Um, I noticed there are some key mistakes people are making. So I wanted to put together something that's especially for you. So I've created a profit kit. So as I said, I've been really sad seeing so many entrepreneurs, and I see this in the TLC Facebook group, the Business Club, so many entrepreneurs slaving hard at their businesses and not getting the money they deserve from their efforts. So um, I created a profit kit. It's a powerful, small course that takes you through the three elements that, of running a business that actually makes money. Okay, so these three elephants, is elephants, three elements, there are three modules in the profit kit. The first is a pro profit mindset. So your business will never make a profit if you do not believe that you can and deserve to be financially successful. We show you how to identify and eliminate any limiting financial beliefs and replace them with a profit mindset. So, so, so important. I've talked a lot about it on this webinar. It is such a fundamental part of having a business and so few people have it. So there's a whole module on the profit mindset in the profit kit. Profit, pro profit pricing. Are you worried you'll price too highly and put off customers? Actually, as we've talked about, most businesses aren't charging enough. Start pricing your products or services for profit and attract more business and discover strategies and tricks to charge and get your worth. That is what is in the profit pricing module in Kickstart. So we're at Kickstart, the profit, profit kit. And finally, the third module is the profit system. So are you letting profit trickle through your fingers? We guide you through setting up a profit system in your business to keep money coming into your business and staying there. That's what's inside the profit kit. So what's the investment in all of this? So you can join Kickstart right now and start working on it in module one, just £149. That gets you onto the course, it gets you into the Facebook group, and it gets you onto module one. That's followed up by 11 months at £149. Okay. If at any point you decide that Kickstart's not right for you, or that you want to, you're like, your life has changed for some reason, you want to stop working your business, you can leave the course at any time. You're not committed to the full 12 months. If you do it and you decide that equally, it's just not the right course for you. If you show us that you have done the work on your latest module, so that we'll refund that, that latest module for you, okay? So if you start module one and you just don't like it, 
show us that you've worked through it and really given the module a chance and we'll happily refund you. So it really is a no risk investment. You either join it, love it, make loads of money running a business and growing a business that you love, or you don't lose any money at all. You can also save £240 if you pay for the course up front. So a few people on the course chose this option. Um, so it's equivalent of paying um, 12 times £129. So it's £20 a month off if you pay up front, which is equivalent of £240 over the course of the year. So a profit kit. What's that? So you can buy the profit kit on its own um, and get full access right now for £49. So you can come on this webinar, you can buy the profit kit, and in 10 minutes you can be working through the content in that profit kit and learn about that profit mindset, profit pricing and profit system for just £49. This is an introductory offer, it will go up at some point shortly, but for right now, um, as it's the launch price of just £49. But we've got a bonus offer for you. So if you join Kickstart in the next 72 hours, um, you'll get Kickstart, so you'll just pay for the Kickstart, you'll pay the £149 to get into the first month, or you'll pay up front if you want to save money over the year, and we'll give you the profit kit free. So when you sign up for Kickstart, I'll send you login access and you can see the profit kit as well. And it works really well in a complimentary way to what you're going to be learning inside Kickstart. So you can see those and all our courses on talentedladiesacademy.com courses, okay? Everything is there um, and you can sign up to those. You can see everything we've got there and sign up to them. But please do, if you are struggling with your business, if you want to earn more money, if you need help growing or starting getting it off the ground, do look at those two courses. They, there's so much packed into them. They are amazing value for money. We do always want to make sure that we deliver brilliant training for you that genuinely delivers what we say and I can absolutely say for these both courses they do do that. So thank you for listening to me um, for the last 45 minutes. Um, I'm going to uh, go and close this down now and see if you have any questions because I can see things are flashing at me and I can't see chat while it's on. So um, if you, uh, <laughs> Phoenix has more than three elephants. <laughs> Brilliant. So if you want to put any questions in to chat right now, uh, I will answer them for you. Um, I'm just going to put the links into chat uh, myself so you can um, so you can have a look at those if you want to. So that's the link for Kickstart there. And that's the link for the profit kit. If you do want to join Kickstart, don't join the profit kit because I will send you logins. Um, so don't worry, just sign up for Kickstart. And if you sign up with it within, 24, within 72 hours, I will send you details for the profit kit. So I had some questions emailed in, which I'll get to first. But um, if I quickly get the, the question up, if any of you have any questions about making money, if you're not making money in your business, just ask me um, and I will happily answer for you. Um, I'm just gonna get up because I didn't have this video on my phone beforehand. Um, okay. Um, okay, so. Um, okay, Amber says, I missed the first bit of this. Is it going to be able to watch later? Yes, so everyone who signed up for this will get the playback sent to you. So I always send you a recording of this so you can watch at your own leisure, you can pause it, make notes, and you can see bits you've missed. Uh, how many hours, Hannah asks, do you need to commit to the profit kit only, please? However many you want, it's, you can just go through it at, at your own um, leisure. So I would say it probably takes, you could, it depends how much, how much depth you want to go into on it there's a lot of stuff in there some of the stuff you you might not want need to work through so i would say up to about 10 hours but you can do it over any length of time so some of the exercises we get in there we get you to write your money story for example we get you to look at um, limiting beliefs um, that you have we get you to give, dig really deeply on your pricing so we get you to look at every single area we've got a brilliant workbook that I've like a six page workbook I've had designed to take you through the process of working out your, your pricing which most people get wrong so I would say up to about 10 hours I haven't actually tested this out yet so it'd be interesting for people to go through it to find out 
not. Um, but you don't have to do it all today. You can start it today, pick the exercises that, that are most important to you right now and work through it at your own pace. You have lifetime access to that as well. So you can come back to it afterwards. So let's say you work through the profit kit now and then in six months time, you kind of feel like, oh, I need a bit of a reboost or um, I've got a new product and, and am I pricing this one correctly? You can go back in and do it all again. Uh, so Ronk says, how many social media channels would you recommend? How many are you on? Um, I recommend a maximum of two. Um, and I say maximum, work out where your customers are and focus on those. We did, so we, the two we use are um, Twitter and Facebook because they are the most beneficial to us. Um, we've got a company page on LinkedIn and I did start doing Instagram last year and I loved Instagram, but I found because I personally do our social media because I really love doing social media and I, and I personally find that um, because I create products that help people with problems, I need to be close to the people we talk to. I need to be talking to you. I need to be listening to you. I need to know what you enjoy sharing. I need to know what problems you talk about. If I paid someone to do other TLC social media, I wouldn't, I'd be losing touch with what you, you were talking about. I wouldn't know what problems you had. So I personally do all our own social media. Um, I do a lot of aut automation, which allows me to, to have the time to do it. Um, and it gives, frees me up to do proper engagement. And that means I genuinely know what people love, what they're struggling with, what they've got problems with. So I did, um, I did, uh, Instagram for a while and then just found out it was one it was one um, social media platform too much and I struggled to do them all, all really well so yeah I say a maximum of two one is absolutely fine if there's just one platform that your, your customers are on um, as your company gets bigger and, and you might want to pay outsource some of your social media to an agency or, or someone then um, by that by that you know by, by all means in that case um, go to more but absolutely just uh, I would say two. Um, so Marianne asks, um, she can't make the webinar but she sent in her question. So she says, I'm a basket maker. So do you know what, there's, there's two industries I particularly see struggle most of all with pricing. One of those are people in a profession that it has a caring element to it. So that it could be that you're an alternative health worker, um, that maybe you do some kind of like, maybe you're a hypnotherapist or an aromatherapist or you're a care assistant. Um, when it involves caring, or when you're, a, some, you're an artisan or there's some kind of heart based in your business, you're a creator, you're a crafter, okay? Um, both of those types of people and businesses struggle with putting a value to what they do because so much of themselves and their own value are placed in what they do. <clears throat> and also they really want people to love what they do and like them and they want people who need them to it to afford them. Those two groups struggle most with pricing. Okay, so I'm really not surprised. So, so Marianne is a basket maker, so you definitely fall into that artisan category. So everyone tells Marianne that crafts don't pay. I hear this a lot. Um, you need to put too much time into it and can't charge for it. Last year, however, I did better than ever. That's brilliant. I'm really pleased you did well, Marianne. Um, is it possible even for me to make basketry pay in a way that I'd be able to give up my job? Perhaps you also have proof that crafts don't pay for themselves. So I'm going to just say a couple of things, Marianne. One is that there is a, an article on our site um, that is um, how you can make a living out of your crafts. And that was written by a friend of mine who makes lampshades. So Miranda, she's a single mum. She built up a really successful business that paid for all her bills as a single mum um, using a technique she talked about in there. Um, and a few other ones as well. So, so, so first of all, is it possible? Yes, absolutely. Earlier on in the webinar, I talked about product pyramid, and this is when designer makers and and people who offer again um, the, the people in the kind of the caring profession. That maybe if you are a hypnotherapist or, or an aromatherapist, and you offer one to one services, this is why you need a product pyramid. Because what you need to do is make sure that. The, the bulk of your business, the bottom of your pyramid, isn't you working one-to-one. -one. Isn't you building every, sing, every single thing that you make in your craft business. It isn't you delivering all the services that you are doing, seeing every client. That's your only business model. But it only can be you selling your time. A product pyramid created properly will mean that you can have 
other elements you build in at the bottom of your pyramid and going up so that at the very top, the premium thing is the products that you make by hand or the one-to-one -one with you delivering your service, okay? So yes, it is, but you need a product pyramid to do that. So I suddenly, my eyes suddenly gone really dry and watery. I'm not crying <laughs> with emotion at the product pyramid. Um, so that's what you do. You need a product pyramid. Does anyone else have any, um, I should, clearly it's a sign I'm not blinking enough when I talk. Um, does anyone else have any more questions before I wrap this up? Um, has this been helpful? If you can tell me, um, is this, Hannah says, thank you. Thank you, Hannah. Um, um, but yeah, if, tell me, has it been helpful? Say yes, it has. Or no, there was something else I wanted to learn that I thought you'd cover. Um, let me know. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you as well, Louise, Annette. Brilliant. I'm glad that you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm just going to leave with one message. Please don't undercharge. <laughs> Please don't lose money in your business. I want all of you to have profitable business. You all deserve to earn good money for your businesses. So please go out there, watch this webinar back if you need to, make notes and go and charge enough money. And if you need to, please do look at those two products, Kickstart and the Profit Kits. And if you are joining Kickstart, thinking about it, do it in the next 72 hours so you get that extra free bonus. Uh, Ronk said lots, really helpful, lots to take on though. Practical help, brilliant. Maria says, very useful, time to focus and stop self-sabotaging. Yes, stop it. Work out your, go and get the profit kit. Work out your limiting beliefs. You will, if you are self-sabotaging, you will have them. Um, I realized I got rid of some really big self-sabotaging limiting beliefs myself and it just kind of opened up amazing doorways to me. So go and do the same. Have a lovely day, everybody. Go away and make money. It's been really lovely. Um, talking to you and, and, and speaking to a few of you in the questions and and I hope you have a lovely day. Okay, bye.